YouTube. Hello, friends and people in the virtual world. Welcome back to Baggy's TMD. Don't forget to hit subscribe and smash that like button if you're enjoying the channel. Uh, welcome back to part two of the uh, tramway experiment. So between the two videos, all I've done is I've added a little bit more of the uh, all-purpose filler just to square it up, to smooth out any uh, small lumps and bumps that we had going on with it. So it smoothed it all out. What I'm going to do is just let all this dry out. Now I'm going to give it a sand down to get it all nice and smooth, get the tracks uh, ready like we did in the previous video. And then we're going to attempt to uh, paint it all up in a nice 1940s tarmac colour. So I'm going to get on with that guys and I'll see you in a minute. Right, we're back then guys. So we'll give this some time to dry off. Like I say, I've squared it all up. Uh, smoothed it out, a bit of good sanding, dug the uh, tram lines back out again uh, for the J70. I have just tested the J70 as well, and it's all working fine. So what we're going to do now is attempt to give it a bit of a, a tarmac look. Uh, we've just got some cheapo Hobbycraft black, grey, and brown, just to add a little bit of warmth to it, just to... Uh, they're all just bog standard acrylic poster paints, what you used to have as kids at school. So we're going to mix a little bit of that up. So probably plenty of grey, little touch of black, just a hint of the brown, just to give the tarmac a little bit of warmth. Uh, we've just got a cheapo Citel base brush uh, just to spread it on. Hopefully uh, the light's all right for you guys. It looks quite, it looks a bit dark. Let's see if that light will do any difference. No, that makes it even worse. So I'll just have to go with the top lights. Just trying to, uh, oh, I've got my lights on. It's probably because it was a bit bright earlier on. So right, we'll, uh, see if these are good. I don't use these for ages. Big squudge off the grey. Oops, Daisy. Right, a little squudge. That was a bit more of a little squadge, wasn't it? A <laughs> little squadge of the black. Just a hint of the brown there. Just get a bit more. There we go. Have we got some tissue paper? We have, we have two pieces of tissue paper. We are doing well. We are smashing it on this then, guys. Right, so let's have a bit of a... Mix up in the middle, it's either going to go really well or it's going to go terrible. Probably going to go terrible because it is us doing it. I reckon, guys, that looks a bit uh, tempted to add a bit more, a bit more grey to that. How does it look on there? Oh no, that was terrible. A bit more grey. Line it up a bit. Oh, so I just want the uh, black and the brown just to give it a bit of texture. A bit of a different sort of colour. That's not looking too bad. Let's just scrape a ton of that off the old brush. That's not looking too bad there, guys. Let's uh, put a bit on this and see what it looks like. Oh, that's not looking too bad. We're probably going to get it on the tracks. That's no worries. Soon, uh, soon rub that off. We can uh, slap, slap some more on here. Like I say, this is just for the tramway the road so to speak so plenty on these base brushes ain't much copper though <laughs> i suppose we're all right for doing uh warhammer figures not so much what we're asking it to do so yeah guys hope you're all keeping well and uh hope you're enjoying the uh new way we're doing these uh videos now the uh, new angles 
try to update the uh, start and the finish of the videos as well. Like I say, it's trying to get a bit more, bit more professionalism into the channel. Now we've got like 200 videos out there. So let me know in the comments, guys, what you're, uh, what you're thinking to uh, all the new way we're doing things. Always appreciate your feedback, guys. It's always useful. Yeah, so we know we are on the right tracks with the channel. But yeah, I've got some. I've started the baseballs the other day uh, for this new layout as well. But I run out of. Well, I say I run out of wood. B and Q. I used all B and Qs straight wood, because everybody knows B and Q do not sell straight wood. But uh, to has that lock in there. That's not too bad. It's dodgy in there because we've got a bit of white showing. That's not looking too bad at all. It's looking quite, uh, quite nice, actually. It's going to be too much in there for a minute. See how it springs up. It's looking uh, quite nice. T probably a touch too, too dark, but what we can do is give us a little bit of time to dry. We can add just a hint of grey over the top of it just to give it a bit more of a uh uh not contraption what's the word i'm looking for guys contrast that's the word i'm looking for contrast a bit of contrast in the paint so we've got a nice uh nice color just uh, wash this brush off so we find out that they're actually proper acrylic paints and they've actually got some oil in them and they don't wash off very well in water Oh no, we seem to be all right. I think it's more of that much paint in the paintbrush. Hey, you got all that in my armour that's in the way. <laughs> so yeah, I've done a bit more work to the, uh, the Hercule, the Merlin the other day. I was all up ready for some decals and started painting some uh, small parts, but still really not into doing the model right away and uh, all the well sorry the air fixing at the moment it's still trying to get things sorted in this house although i have got an interesting project sat behind me i've got to put a sound chip into one of the hatton's class 66s I'm going to be using a i think it's a lego man biffo sound uh with a couple of iphone speakers see if we can squeeze them in it for my mate which will be a nice interesting project and hopefully we can show you on the channel whilst doing that. It just depends. Uh, I've got to read the instructions yet and find out how we get inside of the uh, inside of the uh, 66x. It's uh, not really like a Batman one. Is it's a bit more uh, a bit more complica complicated. I can't say anything tonight. Let's get a little bit of even dry brush a bit off. Rain. So let's have a look. Dab a bit in there. Oh, that well, actually worked too bad. I don't think. So, uh, so we've got this here. If I balls it up, I balls it up. We can. We can soon. Um, soon add a bit more paint. That's actually a quite nice. Uh, nice technique. That is just a. Uh, Lapping a bit of grey in there. Ooh, it's a bit too thick, but spread it round a little bit. I quite like that technique, actually, guys. Slap a bit round. Oh, just got a bit too thick with that. Spread that around well. Touch more. Get rid of a bit of the paint. I 
look all out of that, don't actually got us looking quite nice. Just bring that up to the uh, camera for you. See, it's a bit more slap dash. Great, like I say, we're trying this on the fly. I've been years since I've done any uh, concrete. Oops. Leave me a bit of it there. Got to glue it now, dab a bit in there. This is the point where I start ballsing it up quite possibly. Dab a bit in there. There we go. Yeah, I'm quite liking the look of that, guys. Looks, uh, looks uh, quite nice, that does. So yeah, I think I'm quite happy with how that's turned out. It's fucking uh, like a nice washed out concrete uh, concrete tarmac. We'll give that a bit of time to dry, guys. And we'll come back to you in a minute. So, there we have it, guys. We've got time to dry out and I've just uh, cleaned up the tracks. So, I'm quite happy with how that has uh, turned out. That, I think, is going to be the technique we are going to use for the tramway on the new southern layout. Obviously, there's a couple of little white pieces I can see, but like I say, it is just the experiment. I quite like the way they're just giving it a bit of a dry coat of the grey over the top to give it quite a nice uh, texture, a nice look, as if it's oldish tarmac. I hope this has helped you out, guys. Like I say... This is not the gospel truth on how you do tramways. This is literally just an experiment of how I've uh, I've had a go at it. Like I say, you've come along for the ride for it, guys. Uh, I was expecting a disaster, but it's actually turned out quite well. Like I say, guys, hope you've enjoyed the video, and I'll see you later.